Hey, yo, Dookies, and Dilly Peter back with another streamer bot video. And today we're looking at making a kill switch for all your events and triggers, everything like that. So, in case something happens, I don't know, like some sort of raid that you don't want to happen, you can cancel everything that's going on right at that moment, either pause it or just eliminate them completely. It just makes it a little bit more of a safe space for you to be in, alright, guys? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Put your rock over the stone, let's go. So just before we start this one, I just wanted to say a huge thanks to Geosim for pulling the information together for this. I'm going to leave his link down below. You drop him a follow. Really cool dude. And knows a lot about streamer bots. So if you need any help, I'm sure you'll probably see him in the Discord and everything like that. Awesome guy. So we're going to show you three different methods of doing this. Well, not different methods, but they kind of combine together. So you'll have a, a global kill switch. Uh, I really like the names that he's used. We can reset all the queues. So this basically clears any actions that's going to be going ahead and also resume the queue whenever you need to as well. So first things first, we need to create a cheeky little queue. So we do that by going to settings and then we'll go to general. And then you'll see your action queues just here. So we're going to put a blocking queue on. And we're going to call this um, kill switch queue. We'll, we'll maybe call it. You call it whatever you like. It's up to you. And we'll press add just there. And now we've got it on this drop down menu just here. So that means it's added that in. We can go to actions now and start creating a new action. So I'm going to right click and press add. And we're going to give this one a name. So we're going to call the first one the global kill switch. Just like so. Uh, we can leave it on enabled. Uh, and the group that we can add it to, if you really want to create a separate group to organize your uh, things, we can put kill switch in here like Geo has done. And we can add it to the queue, kill switch queue just there. And then we need to do the um, always run. So this means if the, the queue is paused at all or, or anything like that, it's always going to make sure that it is triggered. So I'm going to press OK now. And now we'll have this section here that says kill switch, global kill switch. Uh, yes, it's enabled. Always run. And it's in the kill switch queue. So now we need to add a sub action. So we're just going to right click. So we're going to add set action queue pause state just here. So when we select this, we get a few options. Uh, this is how you can pause any particular queue that you want. But we want to pause absolutely everything to stop things from running. So we just select all. And the state that we're going to have is pause as well. So I'm going to press OK. And that is all we need to do. That is literally going to pause anything that's going on right now. Anytime that we activate this particular button which you can set up to then to a, a chat command or anything like that or leave it for your moderators to control as well next we're going to add a reset queue so this is going to clear all the queues that you've already got so we're going to right click on the left and press add again and we're going to call this one reset queues just here and we're going to add it to the group again of the uh, kill switch and then the queue again of kill switch queue we're going to have this on as always run as well even if the the queues are paused we can always trigger this like a master command then press ok i'm going to right click on the sub actions and we're going to add clear action queue just here and then again this is where you can clear individual queues if you want to but i'm going to clear all because we want to just clear absolutely everything that we've got so right now we've got two buttons now one that pauses all of the queue system to, to stop it from running. And then we've also got reset. So that will delete everything that's in the queue ready to go. And let's do one more that's going to resume the queue as well. So I'm going to right click on the left, add action, type in a name for it. We'll call it resume queues, just like so. Add it to the kill switch group. The queue is the kill switch queue. And add it to always run because again, if it's paused, we, we need to prioritize this button press. So we're going to press OK. And we've got that, all three of them set up now. We need to add the last sub action command, which is going to be the set action queue pause state just here. And we're going to do all of them again because we want to activate this on all the queues. Change the pause to resume and press OK as well. And there we go. We've got three different buttons now that do completely different things. The global kill switch, reset the queue system, and then resume the queue system just there. 
So then it's up to you how you want to trigger these. Uh, obviously there is the Stream Deck plugin, the Touch Portal plugin, so you can use them yourself. Or we can set up some commands for your moderators to be able to activate these. So if we go to commands, for instance, and if I right click and press add, we can call the command name, we can, uh, we'll call it, uh, we can do it exclamation mark kill or anything like that. Uh, it's up to you what you call this, the group that we want to add it to, if it's a chat command, so you could make a, a, a moderator command group, so I'm going to put moderator command, like so, and the action that we want the kill switch to trigger is the global kill switch just here, so we press global kill switch, um, the location of where the, the command is, it's at the start, because they're just going to type in exclamation mark kill, and then this way you can set up a cheeky little thing, so rather than have it be written into chat, we can actually have it as a whisper, so if the moderators whisper to you, exclamation mark kill, that'll trigger the global kill switch, just as easy as that. The last thing that we want to do is set up the, the permissions because we want it just to be moderators that do this and move that across like so and then that is all done. Press OK. We can see we've got moderator command, we've got ex uh, exclamation mark kill and that will basically start the global kill switch button just there. We can set up multiple for the reset queue and resume queues as well. So if we go back to commands, right click, press add and we'll do uh, reset. Like this, uh, it's up to you again what you want to call these. You don't have to call them this. This is your actual command name. The action we're going to do is reset queues. Uh, we're going to have it on a whisper again. We're going to make it so moderators use it. Press OK. And we're going to do it once more for um, resume. The group, moderator commands, uh, go all the way down to resume queues. Put it on whisper. It doesn't have to be a whisper if you don't want it to. If you just want it to be activated in chat, you can do that as well but it's a little bit more discreet if you use the, the moderator commands as a whisper. So I'm going to move moderators across, press OK, and that's it. We've got three different things that are going to be working just here. So I'm going to show you a little test of using my F1 alert here, but since I can't obviously whisper to myself, uh, I'm going to have to change these commands to allow messages as well. So I just double click on them, and I can change these to message, so it's going to be activated if it's said in chat or as a whisper. But remember, it's only moderators that are going to be able to do it. So that includes me because I'm a moderator of my own chat, obviously. Uh, so the action here, I've got this F1 alert button. And I'm going to be able to type in test down here. If I type in test, it comes up on screen. These are new alerts that I'm making for my brother. Um, and I'm going to spam this a bunch of times. So absolutely spam it. And that's going to be all queued up. So you'll see it. it's going to start playing a little bit. But now if I type in the exclamation mark um, kill, it's not going to play it anymore now. That's it, it's frozen the queue because we're using this global kill switch just here. If I want to resume the queue, because we're, all we're doing with the kill switch is pausing the alerts right now. So now if I type in exclamation mark resume, it's going to continue with the queue system that we've had currently working. Again, it's just going to keep going through all these tests that I've done here. So I'm going to do exclamation mark kill once more. And now nothing's going to be triggering. And now as one final test, if I just type in test it a bunch of times and do exclamation mark reset. So you'll see this next one's going to come on and we did four of the alerts. Do exclamation mark reset. It's not going to send any more commands through at all. Even if I do exclamation mark resume because it's deleted everything that's in that queue. And that's exactly how to use basically queues to create kill switches. So if you want to just pause events, basically if you get a giant raid or something like that and it's completely triggering all the time, you can stop it anytime you want. And not just you, because obviously you can trigger it on your stream deck and everything, but also your moderators. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If you want to support me, then consider joining Patreon or even using the channel members down below. And if you need any help, just let me know in the comments. I answer everything. Put your rock with the stone. I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.